Do you think that your background in pharmacology um, sort of informed your view of fluoridation as a medical practice? Of course. I mean, that is, as I said before, this is against all principles of modern, modern pharmacology. It's really obsolete. There's no doubt about that. And uh, as I think people, uh, those nations who are using it, should be feel ashamed of themselves, I think. It's, not, it's against science, actually. You mentioned that fluoride's, um, fluoride's benefits come from the local or topical effect. Could you just discuss a little bit more what you see as the significance of that fact? Why is it important that fluoride's benefit is topical and not from ingestion? Well, uh, in, in pharmacology, if the effect is local, it's of course absolutely awkward to, 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 to use it in any other way as a local, than as a local treatment. I mean, this is so obvious. <laughs> How it's, it's, it's so really very, very far-fetched. You have the teeth there, they are available for you, why drink the stuff? I see no reason at all for, for giving it in any other way than locally, topically, if you wish. And, it's, and it has the added benefit where the individual can choose whether they want to use it. Of course, not. yes. In the U.S., the Centers for Disease Control, which is a U.S. government health body, has proclaimed wire fluoridation to be one of the top 10 public health achievements of the 20th century. I disagree profoundly.